Good afternoon. This is Larry Locken with the Palladian Light Grid Project. Um, I'd like to talk to you guys something about something really serious today that's very important to me spiritually. And maybe even I might get into a meditation showing my appreciation for the subject that I am going to talk about. I'm going to talk about tobacco and my love for tobacco. <sighs> tobacco. I love tobacco. Oh, dude. Tobacco's my favorite. And Mr. X is even chiming in in the background about how much he loves tobacco. What is dude, it about dude, tobacco that you love? Dude, I love tobacco. tobacco. Tobacco's my favorite fucking shit, dude. What is it that's just so great about it? Well, the thing that I like most about tobacco is that, um, you know, you can smoke the shit and it don't get you high. You know, that's probably the best thing that I can do. Exactly. Know. I mean, you still got the same health you know, risks, but it it's makes, that non close. Your clothes smell good. Oh, wonderful. You know, um, ashes and cigarette butts, you know. Your hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just, you know, your teeth makes your teeth glow white. You know, it's really. I noticed that. It's really good for your breath. And uh, a lot of people like it socially out in the world. You know, so, yeah, that's pretty much, you know. Plus, I love just having that pack of cigarettes in my pocket. I, I do, too, having one. I feel so cool. The thing is, I feel so cool with one in my hand. Me, too. You know, I just, it, it's, I, I love I just got to feel cool. I love just having to like, always have my lighter and my, you know. You know, one thing yeah. I used to always get jealous of and it looks so cool is when you're driving down the road and you see a you see a fellow soul driving down the road and they got a cigarette attached straight out of their mouth and they're driving along and they got a big, long cigarette coming out of their mouth. I used to get so right. jealous because I wanted to do that. Yeah, I mean, it, look, it just looks cool. Uh, it does. You know, I mean, it's just it's, I mean, it's you're, the coolest you're just thing. Not cool. I mean, you're just not going to fit in unless you got a cigarette it, with a big old ash about ready to fall on your fucking <laughs> fucking it, lap. And do you think that we don't express the greatness enough for it cleansing us in the mornings when we get up per se? I mean, it cleanses our lungs oh, as we man. as you we know, cough up that phlegm it of just love. Feels good, you know. Take deep, big breath. Old drag. And here, yeah, and here, a little drag of that cigarette. Mm. In here, and it kind of oozing around in your lungs a <laughs> you little know, bit. You know, another thing about it is, is that it's 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 worth the money. It really is. You know, it may be a little bit expensive, but hey, it's so worth it. it. Is, it's so worth it's it. It's more worth it than anything. In fact, yeah. if they doubled the price, even it'd be worth it. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't want hey, to get out there, but know, it's, I'd, it's I'd pay back or I would know, too. I'd pay a hundred bucks for a pack if I had to. I'd go on the black market. You know, I mean, I'd do whatever sure. I had to do to I get mean, my tobacco. In I fact, mean, I can't believe it's so cheap as it is. I know. How can yeah. they afford to practically give it away? Chicks dig it too. They just, you know, they dig it. it, especially the non-smoking ones. Oh uh, yeah, they think, you know, my old man, fucking, eat. look at him smoke that cigarette with style and class. <laughs> <laughs> they do. And you know, it's really neat to point out a date that night if you've been rolling cigarettes all day, your fingernails. Oh, fuck. Make sure you don't wash them in the shower. Yeah. Look at that it's stain. stain. <laughs> look at that. And look at that. Look at this under your fingernails. <laughs> It looks it looks awesome, and that's in in Mr. X was just he he's on another current assignment for the light grid. He wanted to chime in before I I just really I think it's really that just proves my well I wasn't sure I was going to do this, but I think Mr. X gave me the motivation that it's really worth it to do to show the appreciation for tobacco, especially the fact that this isn't it. And I got to ask Mr. X, isn't it nice that the companies are willing to. They're willing to roll the cigarettes for us and give us filters okay. and nicotine. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I, mean, I don't have to chew. I, if it wasn't for that, Scotty, I'd have to chew. Or Mr. X, I'd have to chew nicotine gum. Like a cigarette. I know. And what? <laughs> nothing like a Taylor Mint. And wow. I'd have to chew Nicorette if it wasn't, you know, if I had to just smoke, you know, naturally grown tobacco. But the the companies are nice <laughs> enough to spray for us. Yeah, I so I love it. Cool. I, I do too. I love having one in my hand all the time. In fact, they don't make them long enough. I, just I would feel complete without a pack of cigarettes in my lighter in my pocket. Yeah, the only complaint I have is they don't make them long enough. They should make them about a you know they should have close to a foot long cigarettes so you can just sit there and hold it in your hand and have to worry about it. You know what I mean for a while yeah. till you get one. I like I like getting one lit. And I can quit anytime too. Well, see that's just the deal for my loved ones. I know, and I do. After every cigarette, I quit until I light up another one, right. and I start again out of love for those around me, so that I can quit again for them, so well, I can have that joy you, quitting. You know, you're supporting, you know, the whole, the whole cause. You know, you're down to the cost. You really are. So it, it's really it's really a no lose situation because basically you're given that, and plus you're given loved ones that joy over and over again of quitting every time you die one out. You know, if you didn't light up another one, you couldn't quit again. And you couldn't recapture that joy. But which which even leads me more, I think that maybe what we'll do on today's 
Gosh, on today's show is maybe kind of summon the tobacco spirits. I've got this really <laughs> lovely double cigarette here that I put together from the Camel Corporation. Um, two of their lovely cigarettes, and as we know, they've been a really lovely, lovely supporter of health and um, human causes, and you know, helping to enlighten people with the spirit, um, uh, with the spirit uh, possibilities of tobacco. You know, it's just so overwhelming. I even lost my train of thought and. I think what we'll do is we'll let the air, we'll let that air from the Oregon coast. Too bad we didn't have a little Los Angeles hair in here to cleanse us, but the Oregon coast air will do. And as we go to the tobacco, we look at it and we, we get prepared to light and we'll see what happens. This could be a very spiritual moment for us all. Wow, I took that drag of tobacco and it just, I feel, I feel completely sober. I know I'm getting some of the health risks, but it's worth it. Worth it. I'm getting all the health risks of any other drug out there, but the good news, I'm not getting any high or false pleasure from it. No false pleasure. Just pure oneness in my lungs and that feeling. But as it does, it just, it makes me think to all that is grand and been given to us. And as they surround their love right now, the tobacco gods, the tobacco, the cigarette gods have even came along for this trip. And now the tobacco gods subside to the cigarette gods. The cigarette gods that ensured that the consciousness was here on the earth so that companies could roll the tobacco and put nicotine, give us that wonderful, wonderful gift of the of the pure creator himself given that nicotine, that nicotine to help us through our day, help us stay in touch with spirit, stay in touch with the spirit, stay in touch with the tobacco. Oh, and the tobacco gods are here. And as I show my greatness for the tobacco gods, I raise the cigarette up to them. I raise the cigarette high above my head and let an ash drop. Oh, God. And then, as I raise it to my mouth, we take the drag of the cigarette from the tobacco gods. And, by the way, the cigarette gods. As I let the lovely, loving components of the tobacco smoke fill up my lung, I'm reminded again of the love that's starting to embrace me, embrace my whole body, that tingle in my chest. <coughs> oh, wait, hold on. I just took off. That tingle that's going through my body. Oh, the love from the tobacco gods. God, it just <laughs> They did this for us. They brought this tobacco here for us. And to show us their love again, they brought us, they brought the nicotine for us. And the consciousness to make these wonderful things. And I just would like to tell the tobacco collective and the tobacco gods and the cigarette gods and anything responsible for bringing us nicotine or rolled cigarettes and Camel and Marlboro and gosh and all of them, R.J. Reynolds, there's just so many great tobacco companies to name. I'm even going to give a shout out to our brothers and sisters, the, the smokeless tobacco to Skull Bandit and Skull and Copenhagen and Oh, wintergreen, and I could go on and on of the lovely, lovely companies that have helped bring this to humanity over time. And not only that, bring it to humanity, but bless us with the nicotine. Bless us with that final component to bring it to us. And gosh, as I just wrap it up, I just kind of love it. I'm so grateful to the tobacco gods, and I'm so great to the cigarette collective and the cigarette gods. Oh God! Just, just, I can't even. Just please, please, people. I implore people before we go. I implore people, please take some time out. Even if you don't smoke, if you do, don't. Well, you really should. You, it's sad. You really should start, but you're gonna. You know, you don't want to 
raise your vibration so fine. Be a gloomy little gussy wussy. I just would like to say to please show some appreciation for the for these lovely entities that bring us this to earth, please. And an extra special kind of shout out and thought in your mind to those entities who brought us nicotine. And with that, the Tobacco Collective will depart at this time.